Hey YouTube, this is uh, Gary with Tiny Bees Unlimited. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry it's been a while and I keep promising y'all more content, but uh, we finally have a plan, we're ready to go. Got some exciting news here. Um, Michelle Burst uh, from Bursting Bees has come to join uh, Honey Bees Unlimited and we're also gonna make a new venture. We'll tell you more about that uh, later, but we really wanna start to focus on education. We're gonna be offering classes and more outreach to you folks. So uh, look for more of that uh, later. And with that, we're also wanna do, uh, do more for this channel and more content. So uh, we're working on a plan to get y'all more regular content. And I wanted to introduce some of those characters. Uh, y'all have seen Michelle, if y'all are fans of the channel and have seen her video, but um, um, I wanna introduce uh, my brother, uh, Mike Barber, and uh, he's a partner in this uh, business. And uh, Michelle came on board with us and I'll let each one of them tell a little bit about you and then you'll see more from them in the future. And then after all this, I've got a whole bunch of random clips I've been meaning to update in my vlog and show you guys throughout the summer. So uh, ran out of time, it was getting hard, but I'm gonna just give you all this randomness to look at and then I promise you after this, I'll get on a regular schedule and start doing more vlog updates. But here's uh, Mike right now to introduce himself. Hey Mike, Honeybees Unlimited and um, hello. Uh, looking forward to um, you guys seeing what we do. Um, I've been with Honeybees now for since the beginning and I do a lot of the operations and um, just we want to show you guys the day in day out um, the different activities that go on kind of behind the scenes um, and and kind of give you all insight into that and with that you'll see more of me later so here's Michelle I don't know if you guys remember me, but I'm the master craftsman here in Texas, and I'm so excited to be joining uh, with these guys, Mike and Gary, and um, playing with their bees a little bit, bringing my bees to the table, um, hopefully meeting a whole bunch of you, doing a lot of content, and just bringing my excitement to the table, and hopefully uh, share it with you. All right, everybody. So uh, thank you all for tuning in, watching. Uh, just keep watching. I'm going to show you all some clips from the summer. Um, you know, just some things we've been doing. And we're really looking forward to having you all along for the ride. And uh, we got exciting things ahead for Honeybees Unlimited. And um, thanks for your support. Yeah, I guess it's been three or four weeks since I did another a vlog entry. And back then we were checkerboarding the frames. We had some old frames that were um, sitting under an oak tree for a year or two. And rained on all that stuff so they probably lost most of their wax coating so last time around we were checkerboarding these hives so i just want to show you the results because we had just finished a really good privet flow mesquite flow and um you know these bees were too weak we weren't going to really make any honey but we at least wanted to get some drawn comb so y'all saw a lot of wild comb the last time and um just want to show you what happened good fresh comb White comb, clean comb, honey. Flow's about done. It's probably not worth putting another super on these, but I just wanted to show you all how well they did. Um, you know, some of these we'll probably have to come and take some second box honey out of just so they have brood space. Anyways, this is what we've been finding. It's uh, 95 degrees right now here in Texas, so everything's about to go dry for the summer. We'll be probably hitting the dirt here in another three or four weeks and it's too hot for them to really draw any more comb so it looks like we timed it just right on this one we got lucky you know usually aren't that lucky but uh anyways we got all that we got a lot of comb drawn from frames that we didn't think was going to work so anyways thank you just trying to mow the right of way on the roads a little bit while well, waiting on these bees to build up so I can go do some more beekeeping. But uh, anyways, there's more to beekeeping. Guess I'll test my straps. I love my truck. Didn't even have to get my feet muddy. Anything for the cause. She's gonna go give honey samples in her suit. <laughs> Trying to plan for um, plan for the fall and winter. See what's going on. We finally stabilized, so 
I owe everyone an update. Um, we pulled a little bit of honey. Plan to get a uh, more comprehensive honey video out um, soon. We didn't make much here in our ag yards. The stream heat came on really fast. Um, I don't know, it's Saturday, all the guys are home. So today I'm playing mechanic because uh, if you're gonna be a beekeeper, start it up on your own, um, you need to learn how to do some mechanic and skills. And I am not a mechanic, so I'm learning how. Today I'm learning with the starter on our old faithful Bobcat. We use two loaders. We use an Avant because of its boom, so we can load the truck on one side. And this is our very first one, our Bobcat S130. But it's been starting rough lately. You gotta bang it with a hammer to get it to start. So I gotta remanufacture starter from Bobcat. Hopefully I can get this done. It's a hundred and something degrees out there. So that's why I'm hanging out here in the shade and not out working bees. That's Bella. Give me a drink, Bella. Right. Voila, there's a new starter. Let's see. In the spirit. favorite youtuber let's bring the thunder all right actually how's it go bring in the thunder <laughs> right. change my first starter all right let's organize some stuff and we'll get the other loader um service it's hydraulics are in bad shape Hi, uh, good morning. It's uh, August 16th. Let's see, we've got a, a new used truck. The GMC was finally uh, finally crapping out, so I traded it in. We needed something heavier duty. We also got rid of the Dodge. It's for sale. You can go to ntxtrucks.com uh, right now if you want to see about buying it. But, um, yeah, I just want to tell you about this new truck. I don't know. It wasn't exactly like I wanted. It had some toolboxes here, here, you can see. So, I've been cutting them off and grinding down. I got a little bit more to grind. I guess I should have thought of this as content sooner. And then later today, I'm going to go to a friend. He's going to help us with uh, these, these rub rails. They're a little too narrow so that the strap buckle wants to roll out of them. So we want to make them deeper. So we're just going to cut these off. We also want to go the full length of the bed. Um, Cause you know, we do most of our strap and belly strap. I'm really not worried about this this one. It's um, on our other trucks. We got I-beams right here. It's a better construction. It's, and so I'm, I'm more comfortable strapping front to back, but not with this setup i might change it later or, or test it out see but anyways we had to put new tires on it um new batteries it's got sixty-five thousand miles so i figure it's just getting broken in so far it's 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 it's, it's a good truck i put i don't know a thousand miles on it and uh, everything's working great on it so anyways i'm gonna get to grinding Ready to go put some rub rails on it. It's hot. Can't do beekeeping, so we're trying to uh, dig out the pond. As it dries, we're going to try and get more water capacity. But still a little too soft, so we'll try our kinetic energy yank them ropes, see how they work.
We're gonna have to lock it in. I got the nice job. I get to dump on the trailer. Hey, hey, YouTube. Got the new rub rails put in the truck. We went two inches out because we had some extra room so we can get to our eight foot six and we're still good. We went with the heavier, heavier gauge. We like the strapplers. Anyways, it's coming out. We didn't know how to deal with this here so we just put a little D-ring. Came out really good. Our friend Todd, oh, I don't like that. I don't have to do that. Came through with this. So now it's going to be another hot one here in Texas today. We're not extreme, but I think we're still getting up to 100. And we're going to start making rounds again next week. So I'm going to go get 300 gallons of uh, syrup. Joy. I don't know if you guys ever get to Dedant in Paris, Texas, or Dedant, or Dedant, I don't know how you say it. But anyways, this place here in Paris, really looking good. It's always fun to walk around this old warehouse. But anyways, just got here. Talk to the people inside. Heading back over here. We're going to get get some syrup filling up the tanks I heard that yeah hey YouTube this is Gary of Honeybees Unlimited sorry it's been a while since I've updated you guys uh, it's been hot as hell here in Texas. I think it's going to be 108 today. We've been uh, feeding bees because as you can imagine, we're in a pretty good dearth right now. But uh, bees are hanging in there. Get them through the next six weeks and we can start building them up for winter. Ooh, 96 degrees in the Argyle. Beautiful sky. Terrible night to move some bees. It's still hot. It's been a hot, dry summer, so uh, bees weren't really doing much work, or so we stopped working them and left them alone. So we started working on uh, some of our infrastructure. This is a pond we made a couple of years ago, but. It drought got pretty bad, so it got pretty low, so we were able to dig it deep, but we just got some good rains last uh, last few days, so almost filled it back up again. I mean, we're right, right at the spillway. So I just, you know, more of these things. I don't know if you can see up the hill here. Let me see. Yeah, there's the box back there. Um, that's where our nursery mating yard is, so this is the closest water. This water wasn't here before. Um, but, uh, you know... This is the kind of stuff we do in the off season when we're not doing bees is improve the infrastructure for the bees. Glad we finally got some rain. It's been so bad. Hey, it's uh, Gary from Honeybees Unlimited. It's been a while since I checked in. Uh, we got big things coming. I know I've been saying that for a while, but I think we got it all figured out. Um, uh, what I really want to do today was talk about this rain. I mean, we got some good rain. Finally, I don't know. I need a gauge up here, I guess. But I saw the area got three to six inches. So um, almost a drought busting, but at least it filled up our tank back behind me. We've been uh, digging it out um, during the off season. And uh, yeah, it's looking good around here. A lot of these trees were starting to stress out a lot, looking like they were going to die. We don't want to lose any of our big oaks. These are just queen mating nooks that we um, moved into five frames about a month or so ago because we weren't going to sell any more queens or made any more queens this season. But we figured we'd try and see how these guys did, see if they make it through. 
home winter. Hope we got any we need to replace or bulk up. We can try. Yeah, these are some of our original brood box, our original nuke boxes that that we made. We used to, I had a bunch of stickers, so we used to always do um stickers. Made them out of whatever material we could find. That looks like an old kitchen table right there. Anyways, this is our mating yard, our main one. It's pretty barren right now. It's just what's left of the queen, queen operation. So these guys will just overwinter here. See how they do. Yeah, I'm so grateful that we got the rain that we did. There's a, we got a little bit of rain like a couple weeks ago and it made all the uh, broom weed and the sneeze weed start blooming. And this stuff, the bees went from doing nothing in the midst of a horrible summer dearth to really bringing in pollen and brooding up. This yard here, these are all some late season splits didn't get sold or get, didn't get deployed but hopefully they're here building up let's see if they're bringing anything in this morning they might not be because it's been raining Yeah, of course, I'm not seeing them bringing anything today, but yeah, we had some pretty good rains. It's probably washed off all this round of pollen, so we'll have to wait for the next round. Let's see, maybe these guys are bringing something in. They look to be a little more active. There's some pollen. Mm -hmm. One bee. That was really light. It wasn't that broom we were sneezing. I don't know what the. Maybe some aster. Oh. Only one. Yeah, there just must not be anything out right now. There's Bella. She usually doesn't get too close to the bees, but I guess they're not bugging her today. All right, well, anyways, it's August 27th. I thought I'd give you all a little update what's happening. It's still quiet, but we're gonna start checking on the bees. We're supposed to have a good cold snap here uh, next week. But hopefully, I think uh, they had some time to build back up again. I mean, they were looking really bad there at the end of summer. But, you know, these, we don't expect. Um, these are just kind of overwinter bees. And we'll start, you know, first ones will make some splits. Because they're like pretty much our last splits, last queens. They didn't have time to build up. So we don't expect anything else from them this year. But we'll get them in the spring. But all our other bees in our yards, we'll start pulling in December. And then we'll start getting uh, ready for almonds. Uh, Talk to y'all soon. Yeah, the rain definitely washed off all the pollen we have right now. Cause, I mean, for the last month, these bees have been ignoring this commercial feeder. They were hitting it hard in the dearth of the summer. But um, yeah, after all these rains, I guess they remember where it was. So I love it. I guess they're brooding. They wouldn't be over here, I don't think, if they weren't brooding up because they need it. Because, I mean, y'all can see, we still got, we finally got some fall color. And hopefully all this good rain, we'll get another brood bloom or something. Didn't get an aphid flow this year, so um, it was just too hot and dry in August. I guess. I'm no expert, but that's the only difference I saw from this year to last year. Hopefully our favorite oak tree 
survived. It's got a lot of death on it, but uh, maybe hard summer. Everything, everything around here, it's just difficult. Hey, hey, geez, what a difference a few days makes. It's like 44 degrees right now. Had a bunch of rain coming up in the south and uh, geez, the uh, county lifted the burden ban. We've got all these piles around so we can finally um, we can finally get to work on them. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Gonna clear some burn piles. Trying to be responsible. Burn this stuff. Prevents disease, all these old pallets and, and boxes and whatnot. Need to get it out, get it out of the system. So they say it's best to burn it. Too cold to be in the hives so we're still working on infrastructure burning brush piles we've had a burn ban all summer finally got lifted so we've been burning old equipment and burning brush trying to uh, clean up uh, this side here that's going to be some uh, quarters we're going to move in some uh, rvs for crew um, right here eventually we're going to have two containers there and then we'll make a container barn so here this is our main our main warehouse so finally started to use it it took two years but um, everything's all coming together got a little workshop Martel's working on some honey honey displays new van Lot, mower, four way pallets, jesters, lids, boxes, foundation, feeders. Finally got everything out of the weeds and uh, moving forward. Time to start getting ready for next year. <laughs> 